Leave your vehicle parked on a Chicago street for a week and it could be towed, sold or even scrapped for money and you'll get nothing for it thanks to the city's abandoned vehicle program. That's what happened to this family right here who lost a $15,000 van with a customized wheelchair lift. They turned to CBS2 investigator Dave Savini for help. It's just very infuriating for the city to do that with just no regards for who that vehicle might belong to is sickening. Stricken with polio at the age of five and later diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, it's fair to say Lissandra Velez's mom, Andrea Santiago, has had a tough life. For decades, she's depended on her wheelchair and wheelchair lifts to get around. Especially this expensive custom hydraulic lift, which was installed in her van. You can see part of it through the van's window. With equipment inside and everything. You said a $10,000 hydraulic lift? Exactly. The family for years would park the van legally along their street in this Jefferson Park neighborhood and never had any trouble. And the van clearly had the wheelchair emblem on the plate. On the plate and there's a wheelchair emblem on the side of the door because it's got a, a wheelchair lift on it. But in June, a Chicago Streets and Sanitation investigator slapped an abandoned vehicle sticker like this on the van, warning if not moved in seven days, it would be considered abandoned and towed. It was absolutely not abandoned. <laughs> she has ailments and doctor's appointments that we take her to definitely not abandoned. A single 311 call a month earlier claiming the vehicle was abandoned triggered the tow. The caller gave the van's license plate number but also gave a lot of wrong information describing it as a four-door Chevy sedan instead of what it really is a GMC Savannah van. And you're saying all the neighbors on the street signed a petition saying that none of them complained to the city about it. Correct. Neighbors were used to seeing it. The CBS2 investigators found Google Earth photos dating back to 2007 showing the van regularly parked again legally all along different parts of the street, even in May and June before it was towed. She and her husband Mike Riley say they took action. We scraped everything off the windows and put a sign up that said the vehicle is not abandoned. We even left a phone number for my wife so they could call um, and we moved the van up one spot. Despite all that, the van was taken. Anyone can say that they think a car is abandoned. J.C. Zolna is Santiago's attorney. He successfully sued the city for other questionable ticketing and fine systems, including red light and speed camera tickets. The city runs its municipal fine system like a for-profit business, really a, a sleazy, scammy for-profit business. In Santiago's case, she lost about $15,000 because of the city's actions and because she never got her van or lift back. A city contractor got to keep both. That's really the, sh the most shocking part. They can't just keep it without compensating you. Alderman Nick Spazzata, who also has MS, agrees what happened to Santiago is wrong. This doesn't even seem right. Well, no, and we made a mistake. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I fully say we made a mistake, and this can't happen in the future, and, and we will learn from our mistake. We told Spazzato about her case. He says he had no idea the city was running its abandoned vehicle program this way. And now he wants to change it. You would hope people would have a little more compassion and have a half a brain to say, I can see the lift in here, I can see the handicapped place, do I really want to be towing this? We found the company that towed it, United Road Towing, URT, has a $60 million contract with Streets and Sanitation to handle the city's towing, booting, and auto pound management. URT also owns ENR and other towing operations. Last year, URT declared bankruptcy, citing in part a $5 million Nevada class action lawsuit involving improper tows. The company kept Santiago's van at the Chicago Auto Pound on Sacramento for two weeks. Then, as the contract allows them to do, they bought it from the city for 15 bucks. The city supposedly sent this letter to Santiago advising her this could happen, but the family says they never got the letter. Not a phone call, not a letter in the mail. Um, we received no notification whatsoever. Since 2017, the city used United Road Towing to tow and store 4,178 so-called abandoned vehicles. The city then sold 65% of them, 2,715, to United Road Towing for $15 a piece. The company then gets to sell them and keep all the profits. What did that van mean to your mom? It was her lifeline. It's like her legs. And that van was your freedom? Yeah, no. my freedom. It's her freedom. No one from United Road Towing, including those at the city's auto pounds they manage, would tell us exactly what happened to her vehicle. Well, I've talked about your abandoned vehicle policy. 
abandoned this. But after three months of searching for the van, the CBS2 investigators finally tracked it down. United Road Towing had gotten a junk title for the van and sold it at auction to this salvage yard for $615. By the time we traced it, it was already crushed and buried somewhere in this pile of scrap metal. Do you know what they did to your van? I don't know. Somebody stole it or took it. I don't... The, imp the impound took it and they crushed it. What? Eso es lo que te dije ya. Oh my God. What kind of company, what kind of person does this to a person with a disability? I honestly don't know. A heartless one. Streets and Sanitation gave a statement saying they strictly follow Chicago's municipal code, spelling out procedures on responding to abandoned vehicle complaints. Because of our findings, Alderman Spazzato wants swift changes, possibly including mandatory photos, none were taken in this case, and police involvement when the vehicle is registered to a person with a disability. The family started a GoFundMe page to buy a new van and wheelchair lift. CBSChicago.com has a link, again, in a legal spot, no unpaid tickets, and Spazzato wants the city mm. to buy this lady a new van. So she moved the vehicle, or they moved the vehicle as instructed, so where did they expect them to take it other than just moving it to a different spot? Erica, this is so unclear. There's no police involvement, no police go knock on the door. It's just the streets and sanitation department. They take a picture when your garbage is overflowing. They don't, pick, they don't take a picture of abandoned vehicles. There are so many breakdowns in this story, so there's a $15,000 vehicle. Right. City sells it to the the tower for fifteen dollars. Right. They sell it to the salvage yard for six fifteen. It's just unbelievable. Privatization, no regulation, no oversight. Change mm. has got to happen. Spazzato says he's going to work on it. Okay, All right. sure. thank you, Dave. Well.